Hey guys, welcome to another Book Girls Don't Cry. Um, this week's topic is um, parents in young adult or um, lack thereof. Um, don't mind my voice. It's either allergies or something. I don't know, but my voice has been scratchy for like three weeks. Um, I either broke it or I have allergies or something. Anyway. And I'm wearing my sunglasses because it's been a rough week and um, so my eyes are a little bit puffy um, and you don't want to see that. I kind of look like an alien. So sunglasses on and it's like really hot out and I'm in my bathing suit because the kiddo wanted to play outside. Um, so I will get right to it. Um, it seems like so many young adult books just conveniently have the parents out of the picture, whether on vacation or just not really mentioning them. Like the kids are just going everywhere and doing everything. And it seems like the parents are like, yeah, whatever. Um, or we have the parents who are present, who are horrible parents. And it's like, they treat their kids like crap. They're mean. I don't know. Um, so anyways, I'll, I'm just going to mention a few books um, and then talk about them because I think that's the best way to do it. Um, a book that I just recently read that I did not like the parents was um, Camp Boyfriend by J.K. Rock. And I actually loved the book. It was such a cute book. It was fun. It was about summer camp and there's romance and there's drama. But the parents are awful. Like, they're the parents who expect something out of their children and they don't care what their children want. Um, the mom, um, Lauren's mom, was awful. Um, she basically wanted Lauren to be someone who she wasn't. They moved from one place to another. She gave her a makeover, wanted her to be like the popular girl instead of like the nerdy girl. And then her sister's getting married and basically her mom wants it to be like all perfect for her and not really thinking about you know the daughter that's getting married and you know they're all so set on like her getting married and being a housewife and having babies and all this and that's not really what she wants so that's an example of parents that I don't like and then one of the love interests his dad just wants him to be into sports and all this and he likes other things I'm not gonna get into it but um, so I don't like parents like that. It's like, let your kids be who they're going to be, you know, be there for them, help them. Don't try to mold them into what you want them to be. Um, another book that I read that the parents were horrible was, um, Wild Awake. The girl's parents, like, go on, like, a cruise for a like, whole summer or something, and she's, like, at home, doing drugs, going to bad neighborhoods, hooking up with crazy people. I mean, <laughs> going to like her dead sister's apartment building because some guy who she doesn't know called and said that he's got her stuff. I mean, just, and then anytime the parents call, it's like, they don't even really care. Like you can tell, like, you know, they're like, oh, just calling to check in. We don't really care how you're doing, but you know, make sure that you go to your piano lessons because that's obviously the most important thing in the world. Um, yeah, books that I did like the parents, um, The Distance Between Us, I had some issues with the mom, but I understood where she was coming from, I was kind of angry that she wasn't completely honest with the daughter, but she was very present and very there, she's a big part of the book, and, um, the daughter... I can't even remember her name right now, and it's so awful because I just read the book. Um, now I'm irritated that I can't remember it, but I don't feel like looking for it right now. Um, so the daughter, you know, like, she really tries to do what she can to help her mom with her struggling doll store and whatever, and they're close, and, and I like that relationship. Um, so I thought that that was a really good one. And then... Um, the Midnight Spell by Rhiannon Frader and Cody Boy. I love the parents in that one. Both 
um, the girl's parents and the boy's parents. They're they're the main characters, and I I absolutely adored both sets of parents. They were both so involved and so willing to help, and just in general, like there, making sure that their kids were okay, doing what they're supposed to do, not getting into trouble. If they do get into trouble, you know they had reasonable punishment. So, um, and I love that. Um, let's see. Oh, a book that like just no parents. They're conveniently just out of the picture and you don't even like hear about them really. Um, 10 things we did and probably shouldn't have. Like just the parents are just gone and the teenagers are living at the house, doing their thing and get, getting up to all sorts of trouble and the parents just aren't even there. Um, I don't know. Um, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, I like the parents to be involved because it's realistic. I mean, it's young adult. These people are, you know, teenagers. Most teenagers have their parents around. Um, and, you know, we don't all talk about our parents and don't really want to be around our parents when we're a teenager, but they're still part of our lives, and it just seems unrealistic to completely write them out of books and, like, ignore the fact that, you know, they're there. Um, but then, you know, on the other side of it, there's not many young adult books where the parents are involved and actually, like, good parents. It's either they're not there or they're horrible. So I like to see involved parents that are realistic. Um, I mean, not saying that everybody's parents are perfect. I know everybody has issues and, you know, some parents are awful. But I, w I would like to see more um, supportive parents, more, you know, parents who are just there for their kids. And it doesn't have to be like a big part of the story, but I don't like the fact that teenagers have parents to kind of be ignored in books. Now that I've rambled on, I'm done. Um, weigh in with your thoughts. And um, like always, we're, we're looking for suggestions for future topics. We have a document. It's in the book girls tab up there. Um, so... Yeah, leave some comment love, leave some suggestions. Um, see you next week. Bye, guys.